Hello my friends and welcome back. Thank you very much for being with me again today. This next article uh, could be called How to shoot yourself in the foot and that is uh, regarding gas and uh, not that kind of gas but uh, natural gas. Well that's natural because it's made by us and we are part of nature so <laughs> it's natural gas as well. But uh, this article comes from Sputnik and uh, it's from today the 16th of October 2022. This is the title. Ready? All Nord Stream gas volumes could be redirected via Turkish hub. Gazprom says. What does that mean? That means Nord Stream, whomever uh, Baltic uh, Sea and all those weasels. Bye bye. We're gonna go through Turkey and you're gonna suck uh, Turkey's pipe uh, when you're gonna need gas because uh, Turkey is gonna be the new hub okay so make sure you call hey Erdogan excuse me are you available tonight pink, cham pink champagne or the same one as last time that's what's gonna be so Nord Stream 1 and 2 the twin pipeline networks capable of pumping up to 110 billion cubic meters of Russian natural gas to Germany via the bottom of the Baltic Sea suffered damage last month after a suspected sabotage attack. The attack took place as Europe braces for a cold winter amid moves by Brussels to phase out Russian energy. It will be possible to redirect gas volumes ordinarily delivered by Nord Stream via a hub in Turkey. If the necessary infrastructure is created, Gazprom CEO uh, Andre Miller, I don't know how this guy is Miller, but anyway, has indicated, maybe he likes the name. Let's quote, you know, nothing's impossible. Well, that's a mentality. Miller said in an interview with Russian television on Sunday, where asked about whether the supplies Russia ordinarily delivers via Nord Stream can be redirected via Turkey-based infrastructure. And I'm quoting, we are talking about those volumes which we have lost thanks to the acts of international terrorism against the Nord Stream pipelines so there can be significant volumes." Uh, end quote. I'd like to remind you that we have the expert experience of preparing for the implementation of the South Stream project which was originally planned to have a capacity of 63 billion cubic meters per year. Therefore, if we're talking even about the technical documentation for the development of the route for South Stream. All this was already done at one time, Miller said. South Stream through Turkey, right? Now, South Stream began construction in 2012, but was canceled in 2014 thanks to European sanctions and bureaucratic restrictions put in place in Brussels. So these guys are such weasels. We want it, but we want it on, on, on our terms. You're going down, baby doll. Uh, not like that, but you're going down like, you know, that's what I mean. The $20, 20 billion, 2,380 kilometer long pipeline network will have had the capacity to carry up to 63 billion cubic meters per year via the Black Sea to Bulgaria. Bulgaria too. So I don't know what they're going to do. Which would have become a hub for deliveries to Greece, Italy, Serbia, Hungary, Slovenia and Austria. Gazprom partnered with Italy's ENI, France's EDF, Germany's Winschall, Serbia's Naftna, Industria Serbia, Serbia and Serbia Gas on the project. South Stream was eventually replaced by Turk Stream, formerly Turkish Stream, um, which we're gonna have, let me see, up to uh, an um, a pipeline capable of pumping up to 31.5 billion cubic meters per year and this is an 11.5 billion euro pipeline uh, all right so uh, what they want to do and they want to bypass the criminals and go to uh, or whomever blew up those things it's not uh, safe anymore so they're gonna do it with uh, with the Turks and probably they're gonna very much in the area where they can. Uh, the cancellation of South Stream robbed Bulgaria of hundreds of millions of dollars in annual transit revenues. Well, uh, remember you kind of uh, up uh, Russia 
with your sanctions and your weasel attitude towards Russia because uh, uh, European Union told you what to do. So actions have consequences. So President uh, of Russia, Vladimir Putin, brought up the idea of turning Turkey into the Europe's largest gas hub on Wednesday and said Moscow would be ready to develop the idea if the EU showed interest pending the lack of any artificial price caps on Russian energy by Brussels. Speaking to Turkish, to Turkish President Erdogan on uh, Thursday, Putin said that construction of a second pipeline network across the Black Sea using a hub in Turkey could help bring down exorbitant gas prices and return stability to the market. Well. The winner takes it all, like that song from ABBA. So, uh, here it is, uh, you have all or nothing. I think you screwed up, you uh, uh, showed um, the willingness to shoot yourself in the foot. Europe, I'm talking about Europe and Germany, uh, Europe in general, uh, Germany in particular. And they will use um, Turkey. Remember, Turkey could distribute south, not only to Europe, whatever they're gonna receive from Russia. Now, uh, that means that Russia will um, uh, give itself to Turkish, uh, how should I put it, decisions, which means Erdogan is not going to be, uh, you know, forever unless, I don't know, I mean, Biden is there, so I don't know what kind of in injections they have nowadays, probably Erdogan will have it as well. But uh, if Erdogan goes away and comes another guy, Musuk or Masuk or Baluk or Kuruk, what's going to happen? And if Kuruk likes uh, his bosses across the Atlantic, Zimbabwe, you remember, then uh, Russia is kind of like, uh, you know what I mean. <laughs> so uh, you got to make sure that um, you keep a friendly uh, relationship with Turkey. But he, the, Turkey is an uh, open upper, oh, oh, how is that? Uh, um, well, open opportunity, uh, all opportunity, uh, I don't know, country gets anything that falls there. It's just uh, whatever comes, man. It's Russia, interest come over here. It's United States, in, come over here. European, anything for us, yes, come over here. And that's the way it should be. And that's the way it is in reality. Behind us, you know, um, in front of us, they all say, no, we're not going to do the business with those. We're not going to go do business with those. And they do. Like, uh, just think about the uh, nuclear energy that, uh, for instance, the material plutonium, uh, not, not was that plutonium, uh, U.S. gets from Russia. Why wasn't that sanctioned? Because the United States gets some from Russia and France gets some from Russia, but they sanction gas. Why? Because the United States have nothing to do with gas and oil from Russia. From Russia was like, I don't know, 5% or something like that, 10%, 5% from Russia, and they can always uh, uh, pump more, suck more, and produce more. But uh, natural gas, they didn't have anything to do with Russia. On the contrary, Russia out of Europe, United States liquefied na natural gas premium money for ours. Good, 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 good. So we kicked them out. That, that's how it's called uh, a capitalist um, competition. <laughs> or more like a social, socialist control. I think the second option qualifies. Thank you very much for being with me again today. Stay strong, stay smart, look for the truth and be just.